We play and call it work. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargaming.com. Wargamers, I have something very exciting to tell you. This is the pre-launch video for the Kickstarter that we will be launching one week today. What is it for? It is for the movie that we've been working on. Get a load of some of these shots. These are shots from a movie that we've been working on since January. I've been up nightly after kids go to bed, been writing the script from January, finished in July. It's a feature length movie. It's a full length movie, 90 minutes plus. That is the goal here. And this is a pre-launch video for when I release the Kickstarter, which will be one week today, November 22nd. And the reason why I'm making a pre-launch video is because it's been proven to us that if we have momentum at the beginning of the project, that'll help to ensure its success. And so we've done it with the other campaigns that we've run in the past and it has worked. So that's why we're doing it again. So if you would be willing to contribute at least $25 within the few hours of its release, email me, dave at miniwargaming.com to let me know that you'd be willing to do so. Come launch day, I'll send out an email reminder so that you can contribute to the project so that we can kickstart it. We can kickstart the Kickstarter. We've done a lot of the work already and that's the beauty about this project, that we can actually show you some stuff that we've done and you can get a taste of what we are creating. Some of you might already be familiar with the Rangers universe. The original film that I was a part of a few years ago, it was screened in a theater and I saw it. I saw my character come to life on the big screen and it changed my life forever. I got a taste of what it's like to have that experience. I got bit by the acting bug. I wanted to just create films. I talked to the director. I asked if I could bring my costume home, if I could make videos in my character, and I got permission from him. There was a couple conditions. One of the conditions was my character couldn't die and it had to be a prequel. It had to take place before the film that he had created so that it doesn't mess with continuity for anything that might be created in the future. So with those two conditions, I thought an origin story is in order. That, that makes sense. And so that's what this is. Now, last fall, here at Mini Wargaming, the team, what we did is we created a short film. And you can actually watch a short film. It's available on YouTube. Just to give you an idea of what it's all about, what the character is about, and kind of the quality of the film that we're talking about. Rob, Rob Prince, he's actually behind the camera right now, he's the cameraman for this film. He has over 20 years experience in the film industry. He's done everything from sound to camera to makeup, special effects, costumes, he's done computer graphics, he's done so many things. He is extremely talented and without him I could not have done this, just so you guys know. And because he's here, he's part of the Mini Wargaming team, he edits the videos on a daily basis, we had access to that talent, and so that's why we were able to create this quality product. And that is the short film. I wanted to complete the story. I wanted to make a bigger, more grand, more fleshed out story. So one day, I was at this activity with my family, and a, a family friend came up to me because I had some makeup on my face from that day of shoot because I didn't have time to go home and change and get showered and so I had all this bruise and cut effects on my face that Rob had applied to my face and Wendy she asked me she said so if you're ever part of a film project and you're making another film in the future and you need a female character I'd be willing to do it and I was just like my mind was just trying to think of something and then then a she-elf came to mind like that's perfect that's a perfect fit and then it kind of just snowballed from there. I talked to her husband, who is Bjorn. He plays one of the main characters in this movie. He looks fantastic. He looks like he's straight out of the show Vikings. He actually grew his beard for months and months and months to give himself authenticity for the role in this movie. There are over 18 actors that have signed on to this movie that are in this movie. There are more than 62 extras that are in this movie. Sets were constructed and designed. The Scandinavian hut was built. Steve, he plays a massive role in this, quite literally. Plays a couple characters. 
He got all garbed up, costumes made for him, sweating buckets in this costume, but added so much to the story. And because Steve's a mountain, he was born for this role. Quirk. I didn't know this existed in Quirk, but Quirk is a really good actor. You would never think it because he's so goofy and he's just he's not, never serious. But you'll watch him in his role as Magra the Merciless and you will see him transform. Not only with his body, but with his voice, with the tones, with his demeanor. You would never guess that this is Quirk. And in addition to this, he plays other characters in the film. He is that versatile. I am so proud of both of these guys for being such a big part of this project. Josh as well is part of the project. I created a race called Outlanders, basically land pirates. He had a massive beard. We needed to capitalize on that. And we have completed 90% of the film. And so that's why we're running the Kickstarter. We need to do post-production. We need to do proper sound design and editing. We need to do minor special effects. And there's also a few more scenes that we want to add to it. And so that's why we are making available some of the pledge levels for people to be in the film and for them to contribute that way. Now, for those of you who are concerned about different content types and, oh, is Mini Wargaming going to be pulled away from making battle reports and start making films? Do not worry about that. Battle reports and the narrative campaigns and everything else that you watch here at Mini Wargaming will commence and we're actually making more of it. This is in addition to. This is a passion project of mine that I've spent many an hour, past hours, creating. This is all in addition to the content that you regularly watch and love. So again, if you are willing to contribute at least $25 to the campaign, the very start of the campaign, email me personally, dave at miniboardgaming.com. That'll give you an early access to the digital download for the film, and you'll be able to watch it and enjoy it. It's a feature film. It's a full-length movie, and we put our heart and soul into this, and I'm so proud of it. I am just like, it's, I feel like it's my fourth child because I have three kids, and my kids are also in it, and my wife is in it, and my friends are in it, and family's in it, my sister's in it, my dad's in it. He plays the ancient one. He plays a character in it. The mini wargaming team is in it. They're a part of it. I could not have done this movie by myself. It's because of the 100 people that helped me create this project. And now I need your help to make this even better. Thank you for all of your support that you've given Mini Wargaming over the years. And thank you for your continued support. And I look forward to your personal email Dave at MiniWarGaming.com to let me know that you'd be willing to help out day one of this project. Thank you very much. Happy Wargaming.